Okay. Today we are working with kindergarten in our maker space. The students are using Bloxels, which is creating their own video game using blocks in a kinesthetic way. They're actually touching the blocks and putting them on a board to create their own video game. We're using it today to tie it into science and the basic needs of plants. So our goal here at Parkwood is to get our students to think and to problem solve, actually to become independent problem solvers. So coding has been really big and we want our kindergartners to code just as much as our first, second, all the way up to 12th graders. It's an important skill and we feel like by coding and learning to do this problem solving that they will be successful in all their subjects. Um, introducing our little ones to coding and STEM is important because as we're looking into the future, a lot of careers are STEM based and employers are not able to find the right candidates. So we are giving our students here at Parkwood the opportunity to gain those skills so that they can get that future job that they want, whether it's in STEM or any other field. So um, we were able to get Bloxels through the Education Foundation uh, grant, and actually we got it in two years. One year I was only able to get about five, and fortunately the following year I wrote another grant and we were able to get more sets. So now I'm able to use the Bloxels with the whole class, whereas before we were using them with groups of four kids at a time, and now we can actually just have two kids at a time using one set. What I'm hoping is by having Makerspace at Parkwood is it filters into the classroom with the teachers. Currently the kids will see me or we will hold it in the library where they can go, but I want the teachers to be able to combine it into their um, objective teaching so that they can use it in the classroom with the students, especially using all the materials and equipment.